Hey, how's everybody doing today? We are in Mariahville, New York, and we are gonna be working on an earthen pond. What we're gonna be doing is putting in a skim cove and a bog in order to help clarify that water. It's a really good candidate for this type of system because it has a total rock floor. So there's ledge rock there when they dug it out. So there's not gonna be a lot of sediment buildup on the bottom of it, but it is heavily dyed. And the bog and the skim cove are gonna help take all those little bit of sediments out to make that, that water a little bit clearer. So they're gonna be able to swim in there. So this is the farthest end of the pond, way over there up in that hill. We're gonna be putting a waterfall. So that waterfall is gonna come down and come to this side, which is gonna create a current and help push any of debris over in this section. And this is gonna be our skim cove. Now our skim cove is just like a big skimmer that you would see traditionally on a small koi pond or something, but this is just gonna be a bigger custom one. We have it marked out. This has to be fairly decent size because we're going to have three pumps. There is some existing waterfalls over here that we did not build and they were here to begin with. So we're going to have one pump is going to feed that and we're going to have two pumps feed our new waterfall feature on that other end. Working on a um, earthen pond always has some challenges. On this end right here, it's very, very wet. So what we're going to have to do is bring in some road fabric. We're going to put some gravel down and be able to walk the excavator and a skid steer across here to get all our rock, gravel, all our components and everything we need for this bog system. This has this little uh, cool peninsula. What we're gonna do is take the grass out and we're gonna plant it up. So that way there's no maintenance because what's gonna happen is we're gonna cut the excess off over here once we build the waterfall up in this area. This has got some natural elevation to it. Plus we're digging out a fairly decent sized bog. So that'll really help with that elevation by that extra spoils of soil. And here through this section, we're gonna have to clear that out so they can look from the house and see part of that waterfall. This stream is gonna transition right down over this grass and right back into this pond. And over on the other side, way over there by the excavator, that's our skim cove. So it makes sense that we're gonna pull everything. On this end, we're gonna to have to jet it. So we're gonna have three jets on this side because right now it's creating a dead zone as all these leaves are starting to collect on the edge. And what we wanna do is help push those as soon as they start to fall. And believe me, there is a ton of leaves. So you know, <laughs> enough of this for now. Let's get started, let's get digging. So one of the important things to do on a earthen pond is how do you hold back this huge body of water when you're trying to put a skim cove in without pumping it down. No, I didn't want to pump this down because we got fish and stuff in here. I didn't want anything to happen to the fish. So what we did is we left this 18 inch wide wear. Now this is really, really good clay. So we're able to do that. And then we're going to go ahead and get all our aqua blocks in. We're going to get our vaults in. We're going to get our gravel, cobble, all that stuff in and set some perimeter rock. And then what we'll do at the last minute, we'll bust this open in this section. So that way the water will flow in. All right, so we had our pit all dug and then we came across some ledge rock. So what I decided to do is so I can level this up is I put pea stone under there, which is nice and soft. And the reason I didn't use sand is because I want that water to be able to transition back and forth through the underlayment without getting a lot of sediment in it. I mean, obviously, with this earthen pond, you are gonna get sediment anyway, but this is just gonna give it that extra little protection and we will be able to clean this out every year, or every other year as needed. All right, so we got all our aqua blocks in on this skim cove. We got it rocked. We're actually starting to put some water in because what we want to do is make sure we have a ballast because if we were to break this dam loose right here, it's just going to take and push those aqua blocks right up out of the ground. So we're going to get a ballast of water in there. So we're pumping it out from the pond back over into here. And the only reason it's green is because they got that dye in there. So it makes it look like green water. All right, so we are back at the Earthen Pond Waterfall Skim Cove project, and I have somebody special with me here today, Mark from Earth Energy Waterscapes. And him and his son had come out to help us because we're short-handed and we only got so many guys and we need to keep rolling because winter's closing in fast on us. All right, Mark, I really appreciate you guys coming out. So what do you think about New York? Yeah, so far what I've seen, it's, it's 
not as cold as uh, Utah right now. So. <laughs> <laughs> Which is first. hard to believe because usually it is colder here. Yeah, so it's great. First day, ready to work. Got to get that bog in. Yeah. All right, we better get at it. So over here, this is where the bog is going to go over in this section. While we were waiting for the excavator to show up, we kind of cleared all the brush out and we made this little bit of a roadway here so we can get across here because it is going to be muddy. All right, so one of the things we got to do here, there's already a natural hillside here, which is really good for our elevation and for our waterfall building. But right now what we're going to have to do in order to start marking out our bog, I'm going to come in here and I'm going to excavate a platform because it's really important to get this really flat spot going because we need to have a decent sized bog. And we got to go pretty deep because this is an earthen pond and it's probably got a lot of sediment in there. So we're going to want to go a little bit deeper, a little bit thicker with that cobble so we can actually trap all those particles in there and help clarify this water. <laughs> We are padded, we got our trough dug for our snorkel and centipede, and we are ready to put underlayment in. All the aqua blocks Mark just put together. Now we got all the underlayment under there. Underlayment is one of the things you cannot skimp on. It just helps protect the liner. And just to double check, we put a, a layer of sand down just because this is clay. Now it's time to get that liner in. Yeah, this is one big machine. We're gonna need a shoehorn to get this baby in. What we're going to do here is we're going to put gravel around the outside to kind of lock it in. Sometimes we do soil. It's just that in this particular clay case, it's going to work best for us to put some uh, bigger gradations of gravel around the outside and lock that right in. Got all our cobble in and now we're going to the next gradation of gravel right here. We actually got Nick with us today because he has a day off from school. So he's running the skid steer. We've got Mark over by the truck running the chutes. I'm in here getting the gravel spread. And we're just going to make this thing happen because this afternoon we got rain coming and we are working in clay. I mean, it hasn't even rained and look how moist that is over there. <laughs> it's been pouring rain all day. And sometimes you say to yourself, should I just go home and not make a mess? Well, you know what? It's just way too late for that. We're over here trying to button up our wetland up in here, which came out really good. But in order to reach some stuff, we had to get over here and the excavator kept slipping. So the one track was at the edge of the pond. So I had to keep leveling out. But every time I leveled out, I would just get set and the thing would just move all by itself because this clay is super slick. You can see right here the tracks how this just slid right on over on its own. So the wetland, we got that pretty well set. We just got like one more rock that we're gonna be looking for, maybe a log and some aquatic plants. But over in this section, check it out, this is where our water is gonna be coming through. So this little area through here, we're gonna drop a waterfall coming down that way. This is gonna come back through over here. We still have to put a wear stone down in this section. But that water is going to kind of come out and come down and boom, drop down in, right in through here. Look, the water's already running. And it's going to come back down around to this side of the pond over there. So today, Nick didn't have any school. So he's the one that made this entire mess in this property because of the rain. Right, Nick? Yep. <laughs> Still better than a good day at school, right? Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Sure. But look at this mess we made today. But you know, that's all part of it. So we're gonna have to, the mess we made, we're gonna have to fix and fix we will. But check it out. This is what you can expect when there's clay and there's rain and you gotta get tons and tons of rock. I mean, look at all the rock Nick hauled back here today. Rock over there, rock over here, the rock we set. And you gotta kinda expect that. We always clean up after we're done, but this is what happens when you're doing a project of this size, you're gonna make a mess sometimes. And today, that's exactly what we did.
already started this bottom drop waterfall. So originally I was just gonna jet this side of the pond, but I thought, you know what? We have this beautiful bank. Let's not just build another waterfall. So this is where it's gonna enter down in here and back up in here. We got multiple drops that are gonna happen. And then of course we got this big stone. Now one of the things we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to um, go outside the liner to do some outcroppings in order to make this look more natural. Same thing on this side, outcroppings, which we're gonna button up today. Right now, Mark is up there putting new batteries in that laser because the cold weather keeps killing it. But over in here, now it's time to button this up. So our goal today is to finish this side of the waterfall. So on Monday, I can start the right hand side. shorthanded all season and we're getting down to the wire. I don't know if you can see the snow in the background, mm. but today I didn't have any help, so Jody decided to come out of the office and run the excavator. Is this what for better or worse means? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> yeah, at least uh, it's not in sickness and health, right? So it's just, yeah. this is better or worse. We yeah. got a slop hole today, so. We'll power through. We're gonna get through. But check out the size of the machine she gets to run. So we're gonna have some fun today, right, Joe? You haven't seen me do it yet. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it means to just push through. We're at the end of the season and we got no choice, but we are shorthanded. Bob and Jason are off on another job. Jeff is doing closings. And I just need to keep going with this project because can you see the snow flurries? Upstate New York is gonna get unruly soon. So today we show up 14 degrees last night and an inch or so of snow. Jason's getting a bucket off. Everything is froze up. Skid steer was froze this morning. Had to thaw that out. Got that busted loose, but check out our job site today. You know, sometimes you just got to make lemonade out of lemons, right? And we are going to scrape all this frozen crap and snow out and then we're going to bring in some really soft sand because we got to keep rolling it doesn't matter that it's snow it's cold whatever if you're a pond builder you got to deal with the elements rain snow sleet freezing rain doesn't really matter we're going to make this stuff happen today mm -hmm. 